this will be the episode where I finally rescue Ironclad Cordite. I've been trying to do this for two whole episodes and it's taken so long because the combat is, well, the combat is long. Now what I need to do is I need to disarm, deactivate, I've already done that. I need to deactivate these trip mines with my face. So I'm going to use Trev. I'm not spending points on explosives, I think it's a waste of time, so let's just run through them. That'll do. I will tell you what's best, I probably should use Jordy Bell to heal him. And now, we can start using health kits. Right. Heal. You need to heal. And this guy in the end needs to heal. But I think we're all ready to go. As long as nobody steps in a fucking mine. Good to go. Right. This has got to be the last room. But we did give bullets to ironclad cordite. Shotgun shells if I remember right. Hopefully he makes a trap or something. Mercenary Commando. Mercenary Gunslinger. These guys are prepared for us, aren't they? Oh look, there he is. There's the cell. He's in the cell there. I need to make sure I can hit these guys really, really hard. 78%. It's a shame we can't use... Oh, we can use center mass. Not going to do that big of a damage. Right, what I think... Uh, freedom. Oh, brilliant. He broke out. Hey, assholes. Over here. Fuck yeah. And this is for the food. Oh my god, he... He killed it in one hit with the punch of the back of the head. And we got first turn. Brilliant. And we got some banging tunes. Okay. 78%. Do I want to kill him or do I want to kill him? I kind of feel I want to get into cover. And you fucking missed. Why, why, why wouldn't I miss? That's all Scott ever does is miss every attack. Nice. Lucia Wesson. We need her right there. Blow this guy's tits off, mate. And again. Beautiful. B E A beautiful. Right, we need a center mass. Bang, you cunt. See ya. Now, who are we? Who are we? Jodie Bell, five points. We need to get her into cover somewhere good. Nice. Professor Higgs, you need to be in cover here. That's not big damage. Nice. Glory, glory, hallelujah, son. Oh, fuck, he's getting... Oh, he didn't get murdered, he healed. Oh, 
One punch its head in. Come on, kill it. Oh, that robot's hard. Oh, this guy ran into a world of pain. Go on. Uppercut, tiger. Tiger knee. Okay. I am actually going to use... Wesson. 67%. Oh, amazing. Right, save her points. I want to use somebody else like this guy to kill him. Brilliant. Why are you missing every single time? What a dick. This guy fired three shots into the wall like a fucking plum. Nice shooting, son. Right, Trev, you're gonna go and give him a hand. Bang! <laughs> yeah! Look at all that. I've got so much more points to go apeshit here. Right, how much is it gonna. Four. A lot to do that. A lot. Do... About the same. I wanna go and kill this guy at the back. Stunning blow. And then, I'm going to do an ambush and that's going to hit him straight away next turn. Fuck you. Marshal Kwan, you get... Actually, no, where's Lucy Wesson? I need her to be here. She's going to be out of range there. I need to get her here. Actually, I'm going to hold off on her for now. Move her here. Forty percent, sixty-four percent. Let's get this guy with the centre mass. Nice, and again. Lovely jabbly. Oh, I hope he doesn't die. Oh, he's gonna die. He's taking it to the face. Go on, dog. Fuck him up. Big Scott. Sixty-five percent chance. Now wait there. What I am going to do is I'm going to use this, and I'm going to take this pot shot. And it hit. Brilliant. Oh, don't miss. Can you believe... Did I kill him? I killed him. I killed him. Thirty-seven percent chance to hit. Go there. We need to kill this guy. Mm. 
Now, Lucia. Right, hopefully she gets a shot on this guy here. Brilliant. And again. Oh, not quite. Nice. Well done. She's she's my star pupil. Honestly, she's so good. 24% chance. I'm not going to have enough. Get him. I shot, I shot Ironclad Cordite in the face. That was hilarious. I cannot believe I got him with that. That was such a low chance. Oh, thanks for the rescue and the shells. Now, who are you? I'm a beast. Fringe. Fr fringe. Friends, Angela Death sent us. Never heard of her. What's this about? Hmm, that's strange. We heard you might have some dirt on the Buchanan and his kids. Dirt on Buchanan? <laughs> I am his dirt. Good. That's why he buried me here. I was... I am... Warlord of the Scar Collectors. Greatest slavers of the Colorado Plains. When the Patriarch came east to put us down, we gave him more than he bargained for. Stopped him cold. Okay, then. I know he tells his people he secured his borders by beating us. Makes himself out a real hero. Bullshit. He made a deal. Gave the Scar Collectors, Piasos, and Godfishes money and supplies to hunt east and keep the smaller gangs out. I don't believe you. The Patriarch would never do such a thing. Well, we've heard it twice of two people that's been held hostage here, so I'm thinking it's fucking right. You wouldn't believe what your Patriarch would do. What was so bad about the deal? Security is the enemy of ambition. Got so used to having the Patriarch hand me my living that I forgot my destiny. And what destiny is that? An oracle told my mother I was born to make the Wakarusa Redlegs the greatest horde in Kansas. Was going to use the Scar Collectors to unite the Colorado gangs, then lead them home to take what's mine. But the deal with the Patriarch made me lazy. And destiny's a jealous bitch. Ignore her, and she'll have her revenge. How did Destiny take her revenge on you? Another Buchanan. After Liberty failed to take her daddy's throne, she ran our way. Realized pretty soon she could turn our gangs against us by telling them about the deal we made with her father, which we kept secret. Okay. She is clever her though. She told him we'd settle for table scraps when we could have had the whole of Colorado. That we'd become guard dogs when we could have been kings which was the truth so the gangs rose up star the dreams over through clouds drifting west to lead the godfishes i killed him torito killed slapstick to take the payasos and that rat steel trap jumped me and sold me to a bauxite mine now he's running the scar collectors why don't we go and kill him not for long Exactly.
How did you get from a bauxite mine to here? Another stupid mistake. Wasn't hard escaping the mine, but then I ran to Buchanan. Asked him for help taking back the Scar Collectors. Promised him I'd capture his daughter for him, brain in the gangs. He told me I was weak and useless. Threw me in here. Well, I was weak. I let him distract me from my destiny with easy living. Now I'm back on track. And he will die for seducing me. So you're looking for some payback? Once I take back the gangs from Liberty, I'll lead them east, away from your pretty little city, and use them to once again become ruler of the Wakarusa Redlegs, and then all of Kansas, as was ordained. Now I'm not sure if I like the sound of that, but this guy could be a useful ally if we ought to take down the Buchanans. I'm conflicted. Yeah. First, payback. Before I leave Colorado, I will put the Patriarch's head on a spike. If you want that too, maybe we can walk the same path for a time. What do you say? Could you use another gun? Yes. I've got some questions first. Make them quick. How can a man who loves freedom so much be a slaver? Oh, Perception 6. What are those scars on your chest? When I was born, my mother carved 12 lines into me. Symbolizing the 12 trials I would overcome before I ruled all of Kansas. I've been crossing them out ever since. Once I take back the scar collectors, I cross out the 11th. Okay. Yeah, how can a man who loves freedom so much be a slaver? Yeah, seriously. If a man is destined to be free, then he'll be free. If he's a slave now and doesn't think that's his destiny, then he should fight for it. Like I have. Mm, he's got a point. And where did he get that arm? Can't be a scar collector without modding yourself. Part of getting jumped in. I chose the arm. Okay, let's get back and decide what to do with you. Can't wait. Welcome aboard, baby. Okay. So, I kind of feel we need to get rid of Professor Higgs. Poster repair. Leadership. Ex oh, he's got explosives and brawling. We are going to lose our toaster repair and weird science. This is going to be hard. Maybe I can give him stats level 12. Ah, this is a... I don't think we can have him on the team. Toaster repair and weird science. That's a shame that, because I need them. I could put them on Lusa Wesson. If I gave her weird science, because toaster repair, I don't really need it. Because that can just bring somebody with it. Tell you what. I'll take him in place of Professor, because I honestly think Professor Higgs is a bit shit anyway. But he does... Right, we'll swap him out. There we go. We'll try Ironclad Cordite cord out, cord out for a bit. So let's see what we can do with him. Now I'm wondering, if you come here... Oh, he looks pretty cool, doesn't he? If we come here at an earlier level, we could have him with less stats. Probably better for you, you know, because... Oh, he's got mechanics as well. Perks. Shaolin Surprise. Right, I need to give him armor. Savage armor, that sounds good for him. Is 
savage legs. <laughs> and a rad tech helmet. That looks pretty awesome. Oh, my five requires five strength. This guy's in full savage outfit. Look at him. He's got fucking, he's got exhaust pipes coming off his off his back. Yeah, go on, you have that. I don't actually have any any special things to give him. I don't think. Reborn knuckles. Oh yes, I ah, see. So he... Glass knuckles. Reborn knuckles. That'll be good for him. Okay, I'll leave them on him. Yeah, we don't have any special things to equip to give him stats. Right, this guy might be good, you know. Let's loot. Pocket saw pop. I did get a key there, but I'm not sure what it's for. Right, save the game. I've realised I've just saved the game there, right, but that could be a problem because I bet you something needs weird science in here. I'll have to come back without getting rid of bloody Zeus or whatever he's called. Shit. Explosives level 5. I'll just use lockpicking instead. There you go. Reminds me of the cow shed back home. Everybody stay still. No, this is worse. Look at that. That is more like it. He's gonna do massive damage. Look at that. That must be his actual weapon that they've confiscated from. Look at that bad boy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Sheets of thin plastic hang from the curved metal rod. The original pattern is faded and obscured by decades of mold and stains. Right, come on people, get out of here. That's it. Right lads, we've done it. We've finally rescued him. Happy days, let's save the game. Jesus, that was tough. That spanned a good few episodes, that. Hey, yeah, let's get out of here. So I need to somehow get weird science and toast to repair on someone. Oh shit, I forgot about these bombs. Who's this? Whoever took out the other shit could still be Oh shit! It's the Desert Rangers! Hold back! Do not engage! The Patriarch can keep this money! I'm trying to find them. I want to kill them, but I can't... I went the wrong way for a start, like... Oh, huh, they've actually run away. Thanks we did murder everybody, though. Assholes. Daylight, here we come. <sighs> oh, there we go. Right now, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing now. Oh yes, we can go to Ranger HQ and do that side quest where the women are arguing. Fucking women are arguing. What's new? <laughs> What's new there? I think toaster repair is a bit pointless to be honest. It's have I don't think I'm ever getting really anything valuable apart from something that's been worth a thousand pounds before. But I do need some old weird science if I can get nine. This is Dead Red calling those November cowboys one more time. Heard you met Ironclad Cordite. 
Got him in the party, mate. You tricked us into killing people who work for the Patriarch. We met Cordite all right. He was locked up in that bunker, just like you said. So now that you've talked to Cordite, you know what the Patriarch is really like, right? I do. We talked to a criminal with a grudge. How are you supposed to trust his opinion any more than we can trust yours? We're not sure about anything now, but you and Cordite have given us a lot to think about. Good. I guess that's all I can ask. Keep your eyes and your mind open. Is he with you now? Why is he so important to you? Let's just say there are places where our hopes for the future overlap. Now, do you have him or not? Come on, we need you to tell us more about Cordite. Sorry, cowboys. Not till I can trust you a little bit more. Now, don't keep me in suspense. Is what a bitch. He is. Glad to hear it. Do your best to keep him alive. He could really help us out when things start happening. For now, just keep helping the Patriarch collar his kids. We're with him on that. Can't have a bunch of rabid animals running around loose, can we? This is awesome. This is some espionage shit. Although, I guess he wants you to bring him back alive. We, uh, we don't care so much about their condition. Fact is, Colorado will be a whole lot safer without him. The Patriarch's heirs will always have a claim on this land. From what I hear, they're even worse than Buchanan himself. Anyhow, I'll be in touch. Dead red, over and out. Awesome. Yeah, I, I don't know. I kind of feel Not only like did he lock me up, I, I'm just like death is telling the truth. Ever think about wonderful to see you, Ranger? Where's the woman that was? Arguing. She's old enough to be his grandmother. Loves love. These people and a lavish inheritance is life. a lavish inheritance. I wonder what happens if you go and see the Patriot with him. You know what I mean? If we go and see the Patriot with Ironclad Corlite, that might dare. Uh, oh look, Melissa, how there she is. I don't believe we were having a conversation. I'd certainly remember that odor. Oh, well then, you pompous prick. This is the one we found her adoption letters. Hold up adoption record. Does this look familiar? How did you get that? I... I see. You have me at a disadvantage. I knew this day might come, but I didn't think it would be at the hand of strangers. Hand over those documents. In return, I'll use my considerable influence. To ensure you are well known and fondly thought of among respectable sorts of people. Mm. My people. Nah, that's not good enough, mate. We're not extortionists, you can have the records free. You talk us up, we stay quiet about you, sounds fair. Sorry, we only accept cash. Lucia winces at the obvious blackmail but doesn't say anything. <sighs> Very well. 66 quid is that it? She grabs the documents, furiously shoving them into her clothes to get them out of sight. You have your money. Now go. Where's my money? I wish I wish things were just more easily Oh there it is. 4301. Yeah, I extorted her to bits. Fuck that bitch. I want money. Reputation means nothing to me. And who who's she gonna give his reputation with? The hundred families. They like us anyway. What do you think is more beneficial, rep or? Or money. Let's find out. Yeah, I wonder what... I don't actually know where that auto save, to be honest. Maybe ref's the best choice. I just tend to go for money all the time, but then I've realised I'm not actually spending money on anything because there's not even that anything good to buy in the shops. Maybe rep will help me... I don't know. Unlock more merchants in this district? Although there's no merchants in this district, is there? 
We'll try it out. And then our next protocol is the, the Ranger HQ. Come on. Where the f- Ah, the park. They've added more guards, looks like. I suppose they'll let just anyone in these- I don't believe we were having a conversation. How did you hand over those documents? You talk us up, we stay quiet about you, sounds fair. I'll use my considerable- The chef frowns and looks uncomfortable, doesn't say anything. Good. I'm glad we have an understanding. She glances around before taking the documents and tucking them into her clothes. I'll let everyone know about the fair and honourable rangers. Word travels fast in my circles. Okay, this might be the better option. 100 families plus 10. Is that all it's give me? Oh, increased fame. Okay, that's probably better, actually. Yeah, I'm glad I did that, actually. Okay then, Ranger HQ it is. I don't think there's anything else for us to do here. This living like this, it makes me weak. I like Iron Cook clad Cordite already, he's a beast, I like his voice. Saw the he was down at the old air base to greet the Rangers, I think. I wanna know how to get into this building. Yeah, I can't remember either. You think he really is sick? I heard he fired his dog. Actually I don't think he can. Nobody's starving in this part of town, assuming they like cabbage, beets, and parsnips. Yeah, I don't think I can get down there. Downtown! Downtown! I've just thought, right, the melee weapon that Tre Big Trevor's got, the lightning thing, it does like 50 damage. That guy's gauntlets I've just gave him do about the same, but it uses less AP to attack. He could be really powerful. Here we go. Rangers rescue Val Buchanan and bloody assault. Gippers routed and slain. Right, this is it. Ranger HQ. Who was it? What? What did we have to do again to get the mechanics? For headquarters, it was I know we got the quest off the guy inside of that that house we broke into in the area we've just come from, the Broadmoor Heights. I can't remember what what quest it was. We'll have to look in the quest log to find out how we get those those mechanics for Ranger HQ, because that'll probably allow us to upgrade the the big tank. Probably do that next after this side quest.
Right, let's go. Come on, peeps. Here to serve. Here to serve. Please, Miss Hackett. There's no reason to get so angry. The hell they're in! My people didn't start that fight. One of your rangers started it. And now you're telling me we gotta be the ones to give up our space? I'm just saying. Oh, Team November. I'm glad you're here. There was an altercation in the barracks. Really? Yeah, why did the fight break out? Greatski's recruitment efforts have gone well, and HQ is filling up. More new rangers every day, which is great for our mission, but it also means we're running out of beds in the barracks. Rangers are having to sleep in shifts. This is leading to friction with Miss Hackett's people, who, as you know, were there first. Some of the new rangers don't understand this, and they think of them as, well, freeloaders. Well, they can think that, but the fucking don't abuse anybody in here because we're all a team usually it's just snide comments but today one of yours started shouting that we should be thrown out of our home before trying to pull davy off his cot which is completely unacceptable behavior unfortunately the problem is not going to go away if we ignore it we need a solution before things explode so this wasn't the first incident. There have been plenty. Most of your rangers are all right with us, but there's more than a few who ain't. Calling us names as they walk past, or telling us we're on borrowed time here, in our own home. Sounds like a bunch of assholes. Miss Hackett, I'm embarrassed. Part of the oath we take as rangers is to protect the downtrodden. It hurts to hear that our recruits are failing to live up to that oath. Something must be done. Yeah, well, we're waiting. We gotta get a handle on this one way or the other. Enough chaos going on outside the base. Don't need it when we get home, too. True. So, any suggestions for a fix? Well, the warden here suggested we move into the brig. I suggested she shove that idea up her ass and leave us be. Why is that a bad idea, though? We were here first. We don't take up much space, and you said the barracks were ours when you first showed up. But things have changed since then, and they're not going to change back. If we're going to live side by side, we both have to be flexible. I I, I do agree. I think sh I think the the doc, or Dell, she's called, has been a bit stubborn. Okay, this is the decision. Shoot. When we make a deal, we stick to it. You can stay where you are. Rangers who have a problem with that will be disciplined. We won't go back on the deal, but adjustments have to be made before someone gets killed. There's room in the brig moving there. I'm sorry, Dale, but we have a mission to accomplish. And the needs of the rangers must come first. I feel this way. Like, we won't go back to our deal, but the rangers need to sleep, you know what I mean? They're on guard duty. Um, There's room in the brig moving there. An excellent idea. You'll have more space, and it will keep you away from the malcontents. Perfect. What? Kiss R6, Kiss R5. Wastelander refugees light. You know we always try to do right by Colorado's refugees. This solution isn't perfect, but it's a way we can guarantee your people safety and shelter. Oh, so if we had Kiss R6... We could have done something else. But that's waste on the refugees neutral. We wear light so we can do this one nice. I guess you're right. I'll try to sell it to my people. And I appreciate your efforts to honor our deal under changing circumstances. Good. Oh, they're not gonna like this. Happy days. Right, I'm happy with that. Okay, right, let's go and get our people healed. I'll see if I can buy some ammunition. 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 Oh, what? What the fuck's going on through here? Private party? <laughs> what the hell? Who who have I recruited that's got a private party? What do you need, Rangers? I need healing, mate. That's have a seat. Fine. 
Just don't get shot up out there and make more work for me. Remember that job and Oh, this is just because it's the nightclub goons. Let me show you. Right, I need good shit. You sure that was us? You fucking guys. How can nice. You remember that? That was hilarious. Sorry, boss. Ah, forget it. Guess you had to be here. Buy 50 of them. Just so I don't run out of snake bullets and I haven't got to worry. Oh, five ammo, I've got loads of that. 5.56 ammo, I don't know how much of that I've got. A lot of bullets for that. Could buy a few, actually I'm just going to leave it like that. Magazine size plus two for what? Nearly everything. Level two weapon modern. I should really do some weapon modern, but it's just a fart on it. Right. Let's look at our quests. Rangers. Who? Oh, Betsy. Who's this? The woman is stout as a kettle, grim-faced and hatchet-nosed. Her clothes are plain, but judging by her their cleanliness, they may be the best she owns. Rangers. Rangers. These ladies remind me of my mama back home. My name's Betsy. If you don't mind, we've got a request for you. What is it? Me and the girls here. We got family who were arrested a while back and put to hard labor at the Patriarch's work camp. Thing is, we've no clue where it is. And the marshals won't say a lick on the subject. She falls into an expectant silence. And you want us to free your people? Nah. Most of them deserve what they got. Okay. We don't have any issue with that. But knowing where they are? Oh, well, that'd help us sleep better at night. This sounds like a request for information so they can go and take over. Figure out where they're holding our loved ones. That's all we're asking you for. And we'll damn well pay you for the privilege. Okay, I think I'll do it anyways, just to see what happens. We'll do it. Her face gentles and it becomes clear that Betsy isn't half as old as she appears. Find Frank Pappas in downtown Colorado Springs. I wish we had more for you to work with, but the only thing we got is a name. Frank Pappas was a marshal in charge of shipping folks to the work camp. Do you know where I think this is going to be? That door that we can't lockpick? The only place I think we haven't been in Colorado downtown? Any idea where the Pappas is now? All we know is that he's retired and living somewhere downtown. The Pappas, that does ring a bell. Does Papas have any friends or family who can help us find him? Someone at the Marshall Station might know something. Okay. They won't tell us anything. But you might be luckier. Okay, I'll give it a shot. We'll be waiting. No need to notify the civvies, but Frank's been taking his retirement at the Sands Lux apartments. Ah. He never went far from the Marshalls. I know who it is. Remember, it's the guy in the room that we broke into and he doesn't talk to anybody. I bet you that's him. Daisy always kept the work camp pretty hush-hush. Most of us didn't know a thing about it, except that it's somewhere outside the city. Old Frank is ornery. I hey. Make him talk. Hey, Ironclad Cordite's coming in handy and I've only had him in the party for five minutes. What a legend. I want to have a quick runabout to see if anybody else collars us. 
I doubt it though. But these guys have moved out Time of here. Oh. A mob. I'm a ranger. You're a ranger who was assigned to me. Get going. Hey, you've done an amazing job in here. What is going on? They said. Nuts. View recovered logs. I've done all that. What the hell is this? Is this the garden they've set up? A plaque reads a hydroponic. It is hydroponics. I'll steal from here. A kit boodle. Seven eight. Seven eight, check. Thirteen C. Uh -huh. I love how you see the base improving as you play the game. Two B. Hmm. I've seen two B. The Hack is probably gonna be raging with us. Jail cells better than nothing, I guess. We'll still be warm and safe from the gangs. Exactly. Careful out there. It's an okay, so she's not too bothered, actually. Right, let's go. Now wait there. We needed the mission log to find out how I get the Huh. What was going to give us the reward for the mechanics? Lads, I'm so confused. Are we we uh, We got a mission. What if we had animatronic displays like in the Patriarchs Museum in downtown? That gave us the mechanics? Robots. But it's not in the quest Robots log. Are autonomous. Ah, this is annoying this. Right, come on, let's just get out of this fucking place. I've never been down here in a while, so let's just see. That's just the exit. Okay, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to... Since I'm going to go to them private apartments and do this because this seems like an easy side quest and while I'm in the load screen I'm going to quickly google the um, wasteland um, upgrade vehicle Right, I don't know how to do this. I, I, this is just saying how to upgrade it. Right. Gideon Reyes. Wait there, so the quest is called Unwelcome Guests. Why have I not got that quest? Because I fucking had that quest. Unwelcome Guests. I just need to know what I need to do. Like, I know it's not in my quest log, but... Oh, that's right. Travel to the bazaar. Why is, why is that not in my fucking quest log? What the fuck? 
That's so weird. I've got no idea, lads. I don't. I, I've definitely got that quest, but it's not there. Maybe I have to get in the bazaar before that quest toggles. Okay, it doesn't matter. We're going to the the apartment. I know who I'm speaking to. So weird. Yeah, the, there's a. As good as this game is, there's a lot of bits of it that I need looking at, because it's not the the smoothest of games I've ever played. Sans Lux. Right now I'm pretty sure this guy is in the room straight ahead of us when we enter here. Gotta be the same guy. It's the only guy in these apartments that wouldn't talk previously. Yeah, I've got a couple, uh, a couple of times we've gotten a quest off, off people around the world, but it's not in our quest log, and it only updates when you, you do something specific on that quest, but the quest should be there, so you remember what people have said to you, because the game's so big. Right. Gotta be in this guy here. Frank Papaz, I knew it was him. Are you Quan? This official? It's official as it's gonna get. Just a friendly chat, Frank. You know, like the old days. Ah, oh, fuck. What do you want? Wanna ask you about some folks doing time at the Patriarch's work camp. How would I know anything about that? I just drove them out there and dropped them off. Well, you know where it is if you drove them there, you tit. Then who, fair enough, then tell us the location of the camp. That's a state secret. Patriarch's orders. You got a problem with that. Take it up with the marshals. Oh, so you're going to do it the hard way, are you? I'll shoot you in the left bollock. Forget the marshals. This is just between you and us. Where's the work camp? Come on, Frank. We just want to be able to tell their families where they are. Let them know they're okay. I want to go this route. I, uh, yeah, well, that's real sad, but... No. Mm. Sorry. Daisy hears everything in this town. I like life too much. Well, I'll just kill you. Are you saying Daisy would kill you for talking about this? Ha! Ask Quan. He knows what would happen if I said anything. Don't worry, Frank. I'm an ex-marshal. Just like you. I don't answer to Daisy no more. Bullshit. I ain't talking. Hard ass five. There are two ways this can end, Frank. We'll, we leave you breathing, or we leave you cold. Pick one. Fuckers. Fuck you all. <laughs> I hope you fucking die pissing yourselves. Alright. I'll talk. Shit on yourself, bitch. I was told to drive the prisoners to this cave northeast of the city. And give them to some tattooed planes, motherfucker. Didn't seem the type to be an overseer. And it didn't look like a great place for a work camp. But I don't ask questions, you know? I just do what I'm told. Fair enough. Here. I'll mark the spot on your map. That's all I can do for you, I swear. Brilliant. Please. Don't kill me. Get down on your knees and tell me you love me. We're good, Frank. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> I got the info, son. But right, that was nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, we've actually got to leave this area. I'd love to know where the bazaar actually is. Hmm. 
Maybe it's on the map. I'm going to check my map as soon as I leave here to see if the bazaar is marked on it. Because that, that's what might have happened. Not sure. Right, let's have a look. Can we get out of this map? Travel to Waypoint? Travel to Waypoint doesn't do anything. How do I get out of this map and go like... So you can't expand the map? That is a terrible decision. On fast travel. Why why does this game do this to me? Okay lads, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call it an episode here. There's two things that we could possibly do next episode. I don't know which one I want to start with. See look, this is This quest isn't fucking here either. Look, this quest that I'm doing is not even here. He's apparently marked something on my map. Right, well, what we'll do is... I am going to make a hard save. Downtown Colorado Springs, probably 14 or something. Happy days. Right. We've hard saved it, so we're, we're probably going to have to go out into the world map. And we've got to either look for this campment. The Patriarchs in-game slave camp. Or work camp they call it. And we're going to have to look for the bazaar. That's two quests we've got that isn't in our quest log. Which is stupid. Okay lads. Hope you enjoyed the episode. See you in the next one.